Hello and welcome to this yet another episode on Limitless Brain Lab. This is Dr. Shweta Aradhya, your brain coach. Today we will be talking about the effects of radiation and the effect on brain health. Have you been sleeping with the phone near you? Have you been charging the phone near you? Have you been using all the Bluetooth devices? Well, I am not a big fan of using any of those devices. I generally use an air plug. There is not the ear plug, but an air plug as well. Why do we need to be worrying about the radiations? If you, any of you, have opened up and read an iPhone manual, has any of you gone go ahead and read a Samsung manual? You will be surprised to know that a constant use more than five minutes is not recommended. Is what is mentioned in there. now with 5g coming in in a big time in a lot of places what is the effect of 5g going to be like i was stunned and surprised to look at one of the latest papers published by swedish re- uh, researchers there was a 5g tower and under with the residents were living directly which were getting exposed to this 5g base station was studied their health uh, before and after the activation of the tower was very dedicatedly and neatly studied and in fact this is the first real world case history of this 5g related illness all the people and this has been published in the medical journal of medicinals access and it is a ground breaking study because this is the first time when the swedish researchers are coming out in the world and talking that if you are living near a 5g station it is actually impacting your health all these people felt sick there were headaches there were nausea the people felt fibromyalgia they had pain syndromes so 5g why should be worried about this radiation because as the improvement in this connectivity is increasing definitely there is a radiation possibility also which is expanding now this is also called as the microwave syndrome all of you know that microwave is unsafe in fact you can do these kind of trials at home to show to your children as well i have a little radiation counter and when i go near the counter automatically the radiation exposure increases standing near the microwave should never be done always take a distance safe distance when even you are using a simple microwave and a lot of trials you will see a lot of anecdotes you will see on the social media presenting that literally the bluetooth device acts like a little microwave how much is the truth in that well until date we did not have scientifically strong published papers in regards to this but now when the evidence is emerging in fact the evidence is also emerging for ev vehicles when you are sitting on the electronic vehicles with a large battery how is it impacting your health how is it impacting your well being yes it is impacting it there is no doubts there is no questions about it that it is influencing headaches it is causing immunity issues and why is that because of also the constant 5g driven data transfer which is happening now if you are one of the persons who is living near a base station or has been continuously using your mobiles keeping it charged near your bed please make sure that you at least have 7 to 8 feet of a distance at night and the best 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 thing is to actually turn off into an airplane mode if you can afford to do so because a lot of people say that you know i want an alarm in my phone clock fine you can just put it in the airplane mode and if you can also stop the wifi or the 5g signal that is coming to, or 4g or 5g whatever signal is coming to you these are simple 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 radiation safety practices now whatever we do small level every single cell every tissue obviously when there is a continuous exposure to that tissue the tissue cells are getting fired there is a lot of metabolic activity which is happening in the tissue necrosis damage and also lack of repair lack of blood supply all these are the potential problems which can happen so we should not wait for the very big trials to come and say that hey we have lost these lives just because we were not able to control the use of the radiation exposure you and me need to be wise and we need to start using our mobile phones with that safety now there are certain papers which also talk about the use of cow dung chip how true it is we are studying in the lab currently but we don't have any uh, scientific evidence yet from this analysis but i always say experiment go ahead and try it out what if you are able to put a, a chip over your phone i do use it and and i do put it uh, in my phone as well but go ahead and check it out for yourself use a radiation counter use a simple device which before and after now all these are are ways to protect okay but what is very very important to note is the hygiene
how often do you use your phone how well do you keep it and particularly when the phone's charging goes below a certain level below 10% kindly avoid using it because the radiation exposure also proportionately increases it is always important to read the manual and get your children also read that manual because they feel that you have been using it for hours and hours long it is totally safe i see a lot of pediatric problems pediatric headaches a lot of eye visual symptoms and everything coming because of this unattended or completely reckless use of the devices that we have thank you for all of you who have been writing across the globe thank you to all the subscribers we continue this journey of bringing all the fascinating facts bridging science and spirituality from various domains of mantra chanting meditation practices different kinds of practices from across the globe so that we can all evolve together there has been a lot of efforts which are ongoing and the lab will continue to do all the efforts we seek your support in the form of memberships because each and every trial that we conduct gets to a lot of resources and we want to do it meticulously so that for all the coming generations we have this bridged science and the spirituality alive so that we embrace peace happiness and great health so for this reason we are coming up with some prime content very special content which will be curated for only the members and i will be talking to you once in a month live on the membership so join today with me dr shweta aratya at the limitless brain lab so this is a short episode but because this study was published i want each of you to take mindfulness and lessons from it in fact i uh, joined a course in pain intervention and i was doing the initial pain intervention i was with a very uh, prominent professor in gangaram and i started to feel nauseous i would come back home there was a headache i was not feeling comfortable until a few weeks i never realized that i'm very sensitive to radiation so some of you may be very sensitive to radiations when you go in a certain place you start feeling uneasy go ahead and check out and scan your environment are you the one who is very radiation sensitive go ahead and cut out that radiation use harmonics harmonizers how often they protect what is the scientific basis behind it the papers are slowly building it up the evidence is backing us up i use a small harmonizer at home which allows me to get at least the it's basically working to avoid those waves which are coming in it does not eliminate it it just counterbalances it counteracts it so in a area like let's say this particular room if i use a harmonizer i counterbalance the radiations coming from the devices around me so use these simple simple tips and tricks and use a lot of plants in your house use a lot of plants where the mobile phones are being charged because they do take uh, those extra radiation uh, which is coming or the electromagnetic waves which are emitted so simple simple things goes a long way for your health wealth and happiness so signing off uh, with this another episode of the limitless brain lab dr shweta aratya your brain coach and a neurologist